Hello everyone. We are looking into a few of the past year questions as we have been in the past few videos. So I think this question is from 2020 exam. Okay. So as you all know, there were two exams before ENGA and NSA. These two got merged into what is the new ESAT exam. And the ESAT exam also has the old question papers as their preferred study material. Okay. It is on the official website. You can check it out. So I took these questions from the 2020 question paper because well it was random so I basically opened a random question paper and took the first two questions that I saw. So let us see how we can solve these questions. Uh, the first one says a balloon contains uh, 5000 centimeter cube of gas. All right. So 5000 cc of gas. The gas in the balloon gradually escapes so that the volume of the balloon decreases. Now all of this is fluff. Okay. What is needed is that 60% of the volume is lost each week. So if it was 100, it would be 40 next. Okay. Be very aware 60% is lost. So if you lose 60, you are left with 40. Okay. So you can either do it that way or you can just do it by a 40. So what is the question? What is the volume of the balloon in centimeter cube after three weeks? So at every stage, 60% is lost. That means 40% remains. So you are basically doing 40% of 40% of 40% of 5000 right now 40% is basically 0 0.4 right so you are doing 0 0.4 whole cube into 5000 and that is in cc centimeter cube this is what it is happening all right now this is part of the chapter on profit loss now you might ask what does profit loss have to do with this so this formula comes from the section on discounts all right especially successive discounts so if you are applying successive discounts the end discount the end price would be something like price into uh, okay let me write down the formula so that will be price equal to 1 minus d1 by 100 into 1 minus d2 by 100 if all the discounts are different you can also keep them to be the same dn 100 into the mark price right and this will be the sell price all right so this is the formula where we obtain our working formula from okay this is the master formula now what is happening here and how are we relating these two so d1 is the discounts so related to this 60 percent of the volume is lost that means 60 percent gas gets discounted right and what is left 40 percent because okay one means 100 here right so 100 minus 60 percent is 40 percent so we are basically evaluating these in one go all right now i am writing all of this just so that I can show you what the method is and how you are supposed to think it but you are not supposed to write this in the exam okay in the exam you are supposed to write as less as possible and save as much time as possible because there will be some weird sums some sums that will have a lot more options to check so this is 0 0.4 whole cube into 5000 so basically 0 0.4 whole cube is 4 cube is 64 right so it will be something like mm, 0 0.64 and then 0 0.064 into 5000 so this is basically 64 into 5 right now you don't need to even do the multiplication you know that 5 6 300 it should be around 300 which is option C all right nobody wants to waste time on these simple calculations okay and nobody will check also whether you have done 64 into 5 and written equals to 320 or not you don't need to look into it you just see 5 into 6 is should be around 3 right so the first one that you see with 3 should be the answer for that all right and that is option C okay the next sum the next sum that we will be dealing with i think this was sum number six in that exam and the next one was sum number seven so they were in the same page or similar pages and as i saw them i picked both of them so this one is from the section quality equations and this is especially bundled in a section that is headed equations reducible to quadratic form okay so what you do here is you don't need to expand this you can take x plus four x by 4 plus 3 is equal to a or something all right then this equation reduces to 2a square minus a minus 36 and i told you in one of the previous videos right that you have to be very fast in middle term factorization so i'll show you uh, how fast 2 into 36 is 72 and 72 to get it into a factor of 1 i'll do 8 into 9 okay this is the first time i'm solving this problem honest <laughs> so this is 2a square minus no plus 8a minus 9a minus 36 done okay you'll have to be this fast with middle terms then 
all your problems will essentially be solved out. So a plus 4 minus 9 into a plus 4 is equal to 0. So that should give you 2a minus 9 into a plus 4 is equal to 0. That means a will be equal to 9 by 2 and a is equal to minus 4. Right? So then you had your original assumption, right? So from there you can just flip your assumption and get it back here and then get the two solutions. So x plus 4, x by 4 plus 3 is equal to 9 by 2 and x by 4 plus 3 is equal to minus 4. So this should give you, if I multiply by 4, I'll get x plus 12 is equal to 18. So here I'll get x is equal to 6. Here if I multiply by 4, I'll get x plus 12 is equal to minus 16. So here I'll get x is equal to minus 28. Now if I add them, I'll get minus 22. Minus 22 is option F. Okay. So again, not a difficult problem. This is one of those problems where you might have to write down a few steps. Okay. So if you have to write down a few steps, just make sure that you are jumping as many steps as possible without making a mistake. Now don't be like, okay, a random teacher from YouTube has told me to jump steps. So I jump steps and I made a mistake in the problem. Okay. That should not happen. You should do the sum correctly, but also try to save as much time as possible. All right. If you finish the paper early by saving time as possible, do not think that, okay, then too much practice was wasted. No, you can just go back and recheck. Remember, the time won't be carried over. So there are four sections in ESAD, right? No, three sections. The first paper, Maths 1, which is compulsory for all. Then you have to select two from Maths, Physics, Chemistry, Bio. So whatever two you take, there will be three exams of 40 minutes each. All right. So the registration has a block of when you register for the exam, you have a block of 150 minutes. So I presume it will be 40 minutes, then 15 minutes break, then 40 minutes, then 15 minutes break, and then 40 minutes again. So anyway, whenever you give those 40 minute exams, if you are done in 35, you are not allowed to carry that <coughs> five minutes over. Okay. So if you finish five minutes early, go through all of the problems. There might have been some minor mistakes somewhere. If not, then very good. Remember, there are no negative marks. So even if you are unable to finish any problem in time just make sure that you leave enough time to put a blind guess there okay there are more number of options so the probability of getting a random guess correct is quite low but then again it's a probability if you get it right then that's plus three okay so all the best for your exam do well and i'll again record our session with some problems as i find i'll also ask you to check out the book in the description that I have written. It contains like 500 problems of this type and you can use it to practice for ESAT. Okay. A few more books are on the way. I have completed the physics book and I'm also in the process of writing a book for the M2 mathematics, which is the second paper, which is a bit more towards calculus and a bit of higher algebra and logarithms and so on. All right. So expect that to be coming out sometime next week. All right. It's a lot of effort <laughs> and I'm running low on sleep. So I'll take my absence from you now. Bye. Take care and I'll see you all in the next class.